I re was really inspired to create a two-piece. I wanted a top and a skirt that could be worn together to create something really glam but could also be really, really wearable separately. It was inspired by the Reformation tops. This one also inspired me because I thought the bow sleeves would be really cool. They are all structured very, very similar with this sort of shearing detail on the back. Also, just to note the prices. So Reformation, because of the fit and what the brand's known for, is a higher price point. Hey guys, good morning and welcome back. I hope you're all doing very, very well. So, if you saw last week's video, we attempted to make a skirt, attempted being the key word, and we're going to park that for now. But, to go with that skirt, I wanted to make a top. So that's what we're going to focus on today. During the week, I found a pattern for that, so I'll show you this in a minute, but it's pretty much exactly what I wanted to achieve. Um, the only thing we're going to change is the sort of shoulder straps for a little bit of added detail. But hopefully, if we follow the pattern, we'll learn some new skills and we'll make something really beautiful. Okay, so this pattern is one from New Look. I'll show you there. And it's the top that we're interested in. The top has two options. These are small, so I'll see whether I can show you it. We've got option A and option B. We're going for option A um, because of the shearing. I think it's called shearing, where you um, stitch with elastic to create sort of an elasticated panel at the back. I wanted to do this because I think it's going to really, really help with the fit of the garment. It's also very true to a style of a Reformation sort of top. Reformation are a brand that are very much known for having this panel in the back, and because of that, they get really beautiful fits on tops, and they're a really sort of high end, high street brand. Um, with the top sort of coming in at over £100. So I really wanted to do something like that. The only detail that I'm wanting to change on this top, it's going to be in blue satin, um, I'll show you the fabric in a second. The only detail I wanted to change was I wanted, instead of a normal sort of shoulder strap, I wanted it to be made up of two long pieces that will tie in a bow, just to create these really beautiful bows that drape up the shoulders just for a little bit of added detail, a little bit of something special as this is going to be for a party top. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to aim for, that's what we're hoping to achieve and I'm going to start by cutting out the pattern and looking at what I'll need to change in order to do the strap. So for this top we have four pattern pieces, so we have this one which will get cut on a fold and that is the front of the garment. We have this one, which will be two panels at the back, and that's the bit where we're going to stitch to create the shearing. Move that one out of the way. And then we have the front side and the back side, which both go up into the sleeves. So I'm going to look at these two next and decide the length that I want my sleeves to be to create a nice big but we don't need an exact idea of how long these need to be, but we need to make sure they're long enough. But at the same time, it's always beneficial if you don't waste any fabric. So what I've done is I have cut two long strips of calico. I am going to pin those to roughly where I think it's going to sit. I'm going to go sort of off where my bra sits, rather than obviously this top comes quite high at the back. And the one I'm creating will be much lower. So I'm going to pin them to me tie the bow and see what we think about length. We want the bow to be quite big and floppy and then I'd say as far as length you probably don't want any longer than that. So where have my scissors gone? Use these ones. I'm going to chop it there and go with say biggish loop dangling there and then the string dangling there and we'll do the same on the back. I think we'll go that sort of length, I'll make it a bit longer and add a seam allowance in. We'll go with the same thickness that the strap is on the top anyway. And hopefully that will look really lovely and glam and just add a little bit of something else to this. Okay, so this is one of the pattern pieces. It looks incredibly ridiculous with the long little strip onto the little bodice piece. But I think it will work absolutely fine. Um, I've just attached the extra paper on. 
If I can cut these in one piece and I have the fabric to do so, I will do by preference. Um, if I have to cut it off and do some of the long bit separately, I don't think it will cause any issues. The closer to the original pattern piece I can do that, um, the better, because that will be where the top of the shoulder is, so it will probably be where the bow of the um, sleeve will be. So it means that it will be quite nicely hidden in a knot. But we're aiming to cut it all in one piece. So I'm going to do exactly the same with the other shoulder piece. And then I will cut out the fabric. We're cutting satin fabric for the outer. Lining fabric for the inner. And also interfacing on a lot of the pieces as well. To give it a really nice strong um, sort of strength and tight fit to it. So I'm about to cut the main fabric for the garment. And I just wanted to update you on sort of the long sleeves. I think I'm going to cut the bulk of that length as a separate piece to the top. I'll show you why. So these are the pattern pieces laid out on the fabric. And they're just too long for me to um, get the right angles, get the actual bodice piece with the right um, like bias on it. It wants to be straight on the fabric, whereas the rest of the sleeve then curves and goes diagonal so we're going to cut those separately in order to do that i want to join them sort of on an angle on the bias um so i'm going to cut that um now and add a little bit of extra for seam allowance and then i can cut the length separately to the bodice piece Everything has been cut now and I'm going to stop for a little bit of lunch and then I'll be right back with the first steps of popping it together. Okay, so I've just had some lunch and I'm having a look at the instructions for this top. So the first thing it says is to apply the interfacing to the front one and side one and side back sections. So I'm assuming this goes on the outer fabric and I'm going to iron that on but I'm also going to go around and um, I call it stay stitching. Is it called stay stitching where you stitch around the like perimeter of every piece just to stop the stretching? Um, I want to take this really slowly and try and get a really, really good finish. I think this top has a lot of poten potential in my wardrobe to be something that I always go back to and I always feel really great in. Um, so I do really want to take my time. I want to make sure that it's really sewn very, very beautifully. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I include all the little steps that sometimes you might skip over um, for time and such like. So I've just stay stitched all of the pieces. Also, just to note, I stay stitched the lining pieces as well as the like main fabric um, because it's just as delicate and just as easily stretched. So the next thing I'm going to do is start on the construction and we're going to start with the front. So we've got the front panel and two side front panels which have the sleeves starting to come up which we're going to join together first. These are the front sections together. I've not like trimmed the seam and got it to like sit the right way around, obviously to fit um, yet. I'm going to leave that for now and do that when I need to. The next section is to do the back. So I'll show you the instructions. So first of all, I am going to attach the back sections and the lining together and then we will look at doing the shearing. I've not done any shearing before, so I am gonna have to watch a video and do a little bit of a practice, um, but I'll show you once I know what I'm doing with that. Just read the instructions and it's not done in the same way that I expected it to be done. So I'm gonna show you, I've got the stuff to do it how it wants me to, so I'm just gonna follow the instructions and I don't think it seems too difficult. These are the back pieces and I've stitched top and bottom and turned them the right way around. On the pattern piece for the back, if you can see, we've got stitching lines for the casing. So a stitch along here, stitch along here, stitch along here, um, sort of like miss one each time. And then from that, you're going to have little like slots in the fabric where we're going to put elastic in. The elastic I've got is quite industrial for what we need. 
um, but it'll be absolutely fine. It will fit nicely between the casing lines and then we just stitch down that, stretching it so it fills the entire length of the fabric and then that will give a nice um, sort of elasticated back. Just a quick little top tip for you. If you're doing lots of parallel lines and are worried about getting them straight, if you use your quilting bar and set that up to the right sort of dimension, then you can just follow along one straight line and hopefully keep everything nice and straight and parallel. You need to use last okay, so on the first back piece, I have stitched the casing lines along. They've turned out really quite well and quite straight, so I'm very happy with that. And I have popped the first bit of elastic in. They're a little bit of a pain to get in in the first place. Um, I did make a little contraption with safety pins so I could slip them along. Because obviously the elastic's shorter than the actual fabric that it's going into. Um, so I've pinned that in place and I'm going to do one at a time and stitch them in. Um, just because I think it would be a lot easier than trying to stitch it when I've got all of them in place. The last one probably be a bit of a bit of a pain um but we'll get around that that'll be fine good morning guys so it's sunday now i'll catch you up on what i did last night and we'll get on with the construction today just a quick note we've got some building work going on next door so if you can hear constant banging then i apologize for that but I'll show you the back panels that I finished off last night and then we'll have a look at what's first today. So these are the back panels with the elastic in them. I think they actually look pretty good. All these lines of stitching are, I mean they're not perfect, but they're pretty parallel. The ga gathering's looking pretty even. We've got the two panels here, which again, they look, of them, in fact, I think they're upside down. I think that one wants to go that way to match. Um, but they're looking pretty similar like the same sort of shape and height so hopefully those will go in absolutely fine they're also like very very strong with the elastic um i can't show you because i'm holding the camera but i think we'll be able to get like a really good tight fit hopefully it will work really well the only thing that i have got to go and do today is i've got to pop into town at some point to go and get the zip for the back it wants to have a separating zip but at the same time you don't want anything too chunky you want something quite like discreet and elegant looking. So we'll see what we can find in town. But I did have a look online at like separating invisible zips. And they do exist but they're not exactly easy to get hold of. So I doubt I'll be able to get something like that um, in town today. But we'll, we'll get something that will do the job and of the right size. Okay so the next steps of the construction are to attach the back elasticated panels to the back side panels so that they're the ones where the shoulder strap comes up and then we're attaching that to the front sections that we joined together yesterday so I'll do that I'll show you when I go along and then the next part is to attach all the lining pieces so we're basically getting the full construction of both the main fabric and the lining fabric and then we can look at putting it all together I don't know whether the beauty of the fabric actually comes across enough on camera, but it's just stunning. It just glistens really, really beautifully. Um, we've got all the panels attached. I'm going to go and try it on. Obviously, I can't fasten it because we've not got a zip in it yet. But I am going to go and have a look where the seams around the bust fit, where the side seams fit, and see where it needs taking in. I'm expecting it to need taking in a little bit. Um, but we'll go and try it on the size and have a quick little look. Okay, so I've popped this on inside out, obviously, so I can fit it a bit more. And it's got lots of room around sort of the, like, chest area. Um, I was expecting this because although the pattern went off the bust size, my chest is actually a lot smaller compared to bust. Um, so we need to do some taking in. I'm just going to pin it in. It'll probably be down the bottom of these sides of these um, front seams down the side seams. I've pinned the back with the 1.5 centimetre seam allowance which will allow for when the zip goes in and I've just pinned the sleeves very very quickly so that it doesn't all fall down completely. Um, so yeah we'll start pinning. It does come 
very, very high up to where my bra sits, which is something I need to think about. Potentially we can have it sitting a little bit lower. I might loosen these straps so then it, I can fit it a little bit lower on me just to make sure that I do like cover the underwire and that it's not riding up when I'm dancing, etc. <laughs> So this is the first look of it all taken in now. I think it's looking pretty great. The fit's looking really good. There's the back, it's just been pinned, obviously, until we get the zip. Um, but I really love it. I think that the um, the strengthening of the fabric with the interfacing makes a big, big difference. Because it allows you to get a really tight, pulled in fit. And it feels really, really great on. It feels really secure, comfortable. Obviously, the straps are still to like sort out properly. I'll go in and attach the long bits probably next. But the overall fit, the length of it, everything like that, really, really happy with. Um, it's not easy to get a proper fit, especially when you're a curvier woman and you've got boobs to go around. Um, but actually, I think this has worked really, really well. Just pulling it in at the right seams, making sure it's nice and even. And I think we've got a great, a great looking fit. And again, I love the fabric. I'm obsessed with this fabric. So I think this is gonna be a really, really cool top once it's done. Okay, so I thought I'd give you a little update of where we're at. So this is the main top and I have attached the long like sleeves ready for the bows. Um, so it looks slightly mad right now, but that's fine. That's all fitting really nicely. So what I've now done is attach all the lining pieces. So there is the lining on top. To make sure that the lining fits the main fabric that's been fitted to me I'm going to go al along and line each seam up and just take it in where it needs to go so I'm not going to do this on me I think I should be able to do it with the sort of outline of the main fabric that I've created um, but we're going to slowly go through make sure it all lines up nicely and then we can attach the two together just to show you what I've done so I've lined up with all the seams so the main places I've got to take it in are under the bust here and here and quite a lot at these side seams so that's all pinned where it needs taking in i'll unpin it from the outer and then i can zip down the seams and take it in um i always think with the lining as long as it fits the outside and it's roughly right it doesn't have to be exact but you don't want it smaller than your outside um, a little bit tiny bit of excess won't matter but you definitely don't want it popping out anywhere or pulling the outer in um, so it does need to be pretty exact. I've just had a quick double check of the instructions to make sure I'm not missing anything but the next step now that the lining is nicely fitted and I have added the long like sleevey bow bits um, to it the next section is to attach it all. So it says first of all to start with the neckline and the sleeves and then to go on the bottom. We can sew it all right sides together because there's two bits that you're leaving open down each side which will then get hand stitched onto the elasticy bit so we've still got something to turn it out um, to so I think it's just going to be long and fiddly because of the really long sleeve bits um, but we'll take our time and we'll get it all attached and we're very very close to finishing now so last couple of pushes I'll go and get a zip and then we'll hopefully have a beautiful finished garment soon. Okay, so I've just pinned it all in place and there's one more thing that I'm gonna do before we stitch it. So, on the ends of the long sleevey bits, I'm just gonna cut it at an angle um, so that it just looks a little bit more delicate, a little bit more refined um, when it's all bowed up. So, I don't know which way the angle should be so I'm just gonna take a guess I don't think it will matter um, but I'm just gonna snip all of the ends like that so that they're nicely angled right so I've just been into town and picked up the zip and I've also finished sewing round and ironing it all down. so I'll show you where we've got to and then we'll pop the zip in I couldn't get a separating zip but I've got an idea of how I can make it work which might seem like a little bit of a bodge but I think it'll be fine so I'll talk you through it in a sec 
so this is how we're looking it's hard to show you but i'll show you it all on once we're finished and we're very very close now so we've got the bow sleeves the rest of it's all stitched round and looking nice we've got a little bit of hand stitching to do in here and obviously the zip to pop in now looking at the back this is what we've got and zip wise i couldn't get one that separated um so i've just got a standard zip here what I'm thinking is if we put the zip in upside down so it's still attached on the top part but then the bit that's going to come in more where your waist is opens up it should still go on okay and it should fit absolutely fine so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to attach the zip and then just neaten it with hand stitching at the ends this is the right size zip although it does look a bit long but I think we'll just turn over the edges and stitch them nicely in like that. Okay, if I look cold in this clip, it's because it is freezing in this room. But it's the best lighting for me to show you the finished top. So this is the final fit. I've tied the bows myself, so they're not quite as tight as they could be. Um, but that's just a matter of how I've put it on today. Um, but the fit is really, really beautiful. I'll show you the back. We've got the zip in nicely, it's not invisible, but I think it's nice and evenly done, so very very happy with it. Really really chuffed with how it fits, how it looks, I really like the bows as the added little bit of detail. Um, and then I've just chucked it on with some jeans and some um, heels. About the skirt, that's what I'm going to cover quickly and just update you. Um, at the moment I've not got the time to put the effort in to finish it off. It is on my pile of things to do, it will get finished, but I have decided that for the Christmas party that I wanted it for, I'm going to wear this top with a pair of jeans instead. Um, so I will finish the skirt, I will update you on it, but for now, this is the top, which I'm so, so happy with. I needed a good sew after last week, and I've really enjoyed doing this one. The pattern was really good, it was really easy to follow, the fabric's been great for what... Um, the pattern required of it. It's got a really really good like strong structure to it um, So yeah, really 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 happy with this um, I hope you like it. I hope you like the final fit and I'll see you on the next one So if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe There's gonna be some more like Christmassy content coming from this point. I know we're a little bit early but in order to get prepping for like Christmas presents and stuff like that, I thought if I start covering it now, then we've got a chance of being able to make some bits beforehand. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!